If you want to get into a fight on the internet, talk about who is and who isn't an industry plant. I made a few videos about industry plants and making those videos made it evident to me that we are living in both the best and worst time to be an artist. Industry plants are real, but not relevant enough to even acknowledge. But I also see where some are coming from when they use the term to high key dismiss an upcoming artist. And it's the reason why I'm making this video. The term industry plant is so ambiguous, pretentious, discombobulated, and convoluted. We need to stop using this term as it makes some of us, not me, and hopefully not you watching, seem like a hater. My initial intention behind making this video was I wanted to see if I could be swayed into believing industry plants exist. This new term of industry plant Plant. By reading the comments on my videos where people said they do exist and other creators' videos who believe that plants also exist. Now after doing all of that, I am still not convinced that industry plants are real or a relevant discussion point when talking about artist genuineness. For this video, let's talk about industry plants, the baseless points given as to why some artists are labeled a plant. The confusion and ambiguity of the term, the new wave of industry plants that are taking over the internet right now, I wasn't going to talk about this person but I have to include her, I spice. How industry plants are not a bad thing, and authenticity doesn't exist, and how the problem is not industry plants, it's you, your ass. I am Don, your pop culture boy, let's get into it. Now, I know I've said a lot of times that industry plants do not exist. Technically, they do exist, but not the version most people think of. And its usage is not the flex that some think it is either. You just end up looking like a massive hater. Calling people industry plants is not a flex. Based on my experience, it's also rooted in jadedness and jealousy, especially when other artists says it. Example, Hoyt calls Babe Ruth an industry plant because Hoyt thinks he's a superior artist and because Babe Ruth is getting all the industry perks. Meanwhile, Hoyt isn't getting the support he thinks he deserves, so to feel better about himself, he calls Babe Ruth an industry plant. Let's quickly talk about the definition and the other iterations of the term that started in this social media era. Now the first time I heard the term industry plant, it was attached to two artists, Chance the Rapper and Russ. People believe Chance was a plant because as an indie artist, he was getting major cosigns from people like Kanye, Beyonce, and he even got a Grammy for his second mixtape, Coloring Book. In addition, he was heavily boosted. Now for Russ, uh, I think people were calling him a plant because people consider him to be like an asshole, like a, you know, Mr. Know-it-all type, but obnoxious. That's what I think. He is independent, and there was a rumor that his father worked for Columbia Records. Now, let's get into the categories and definitions. The first definition of an industry plant was pretty simple. You were planted by the industry. Very simple. But here's the thing, you had to be if you wanted to make it in music. You needed the gatekeeper's approval. So who did this term fit? Honestly, the greats. Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Usher. There was no internet in their come up, so only the industry could get them in front of the people in a massive way. So you see why it's kind of stupid to call someone an industry plant? Very stupid. The next term was that an artist that poses as an indie act, doing things on their own like writing and producing their own music, appearing to be signed by an indie label, or no label at all, when indeed they are being sponsored by a major label slash corporation. So they're a fraud. A liar. This version became popular in the 2010s and is what I'd consider an industry plant to this day, although I still rather just ignore the term altogether. But for argument's sake, this is what I would consider to be an actual legit term for today. Now who would fit this? Artists that would fall under this definition is Chance the Rapper. Now the next iteration <laughs> doesn't make any sense at all, but here we go. I'm seeing some people now confusing plants with nepotism, which I don't know where of that came from as nipple babies are an entirely different breed different video there is nothing wrong with nepotism by the way it literally makes the world go around the problem is that these new nipple babies suck ass and are clearly not as driven and passionate like nipple babies in the past acts like willow and jaden smith would fall under this category as their father will smith who was a pioneer for hip-hop and the feel-good goofy rapper that can be more than a rapper but a brand 
Coyle Ray, and Saweetie would also fit this type of plant, which is really just nepotism. The industry planted them rhetoric as well. Side note, how many of y'all are related to a famous person and have never gotten help from them or don't even know them or never <laughs> like never met them before? And the last iteration is where people are referred to as plants because they are pushed like crazy. Which is silly because that's what your label is supposed to do. Newsflash, these people are here to make money. There is also more of a conspiracy tone attached where people would say this artist sold their soul for fame and the industry is pushing them to spread sinister agendas. Again, this iteration is the stupidest of them all. All the artists I named prior and the entire industry of mainstream acts fit this definition as well. But I'd say it suits mainly the legends that debuted in the 90s and 2000s. Beyonce, Justin Bieber, Rihanna, bruh. Remember, Rihanna was literally plucked out of Barbados, not because she was talented, but because she had the look and a distinctive voice. I will give her that. That produces hits. No one looked like Rihanna in the 2000s. And she was more than an artist, but a brand. And they fed her hits. She was literally a hit making machine. And if you have a problem with this, like you're telling me that she needed to do all of this on her own, she wouldn't be the Rihanna that we know today. She'd be Rihanna, the big foreheaded ad down the street. Like that's what they called her when she was a kid, big head. To me, she's still Robin, still big head. <laughs> I never looked at the ass. I always looked at that fucking cranium, she, that football helmet that she got on her fucking forehead. Also, 50 Cent would definitely be the top rapper to fit perfectly in this category. Now, for my little babies who don't don't know much about 50 Cent, this logo was launched on us in the 2000s and he had a perfect story of hustle and envy. He got 9 shots, or so they say, and lived. The perfect story a label can use to get us enamored with him, like he came back from the dead. So industry plant is very convoluted. It fits everyone because essentially everyone got help. The music industry is called an industry for a reason. Industry plants mean everything and nothing at the same time. Everyone has their own meaning of what an industry plant is. In the community section, I asked what an industry plant is, and everyone had a different meaning. Mind you, I did ask in your own words, but I wanted to see if there was an alignment, but everybody kind of had like a different meaning of what it means to them. Nowadays, the audience are just looking for any reason to call an artist out for being a plant. For bats. People were saying, nah, he's a plant. Oh, he's getting pushed like crazy. Already getting charged success and getting a Drake feature as a new artist. Dominic Fike from Euphoria was also accused because he got a reported $4 billion deal after releasing like just one project on SoundCloud. Now I doubt he got that much, they probably put that figure out to start conversations around him, but um, I could be wrong. People are literally watching Tyla's every move because apparently she got a hit song out of nowhere and a Grammy award. A lot of people don't know this, but Tyla has been putting out music for some time now in South Africa. And it's obvious that it's her marketing strategy that has changed and improved. Anyway, when she refused to answer the question by Charlemagne, you know Charlemagne from The Breakfast Club, the man who told a story on how he um, Spanish flied a female friend. Kenlana, mm -hmm. I got this girl real drunk and um, Sentence sounds a little fishy. I, I'm I not, got her drunk. And now I, 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 I didn't just no get her drunk. I remember going. I, I went to the sex store and got Spanish fly. Oh, so you shut up. <laughs> Spanish fly. Why in, they why sell it in the sex store. You, I'm, I'm telling the truth. They, they spell it in the Spanish store. I had to. I had to. They yeah, sell I mean, knives they sell in the sex store too. You could put that to a girl's throat yeah, and have sex store. with her. That doesn't mean so, it's illegal. So I put the Spanish fly in the ENJ. We drinking the ENJ and shit. So in my mind, I don't know if this shit really worked, but I felt like I got horny as a. <laughs> right, right. So, she, so, so she was drunk and shit and we had sex and shit and like a lot of my boys was trying to come in the room and f like nah chill out i can't i'm not doing that and i'm like what yeah. you're on the train on it that's yeah. okay so <laughs> right so if it's so, just one-on-one -on -one, it ain't right yeah so the next trains are right so the next morning she wakes up the next morning she wakes up and um we talk about it. School, school me on these debates that they be having about your identity as a South African colored person. What, is, what does that even mean? Can we, yeah. Can we not? Por favor. Oh, I like that. We keeping that in the interview, too. 
Anyway, people were like, see, see, she's a plant. She doesn't want to answer the question. She's now working with Travis Scott and she just got here. Look, 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 look. They're trying to pin her and uh, Kai Sinat together. She's a plant. Whenever we see a new artist rise in the game, in reality, what we are witnessing is the artist's marketing strategy. Nowadays, if people see any trace of any corporate backing, you get called out for being a plant, as if they don't want people to make it. Back in the day, especially with bands and like certain books, if people really liked a band or a book, they would gatekeep the shit out of it, as they wanted that band or piece of media to be theirs only. And if that thing they love gets popular, they would start to hate on it. And then there's also another sector who just hates anything that's popular. I think for anybody that wants to get into business and wants their business to grow, yep. they got to know that strategic marketing is necessary, right? Mm -hmm. So if, even if you own a mom and pop spot or you... Um, or you, or you got a shoe store or whatever, you hire you hire people to market your, your product. Right. And for people that don't know what, what that is, that's getting maximum visibility, mm -hmm. right? So if somebody's marketing your shit, you want your shit to be everywhere. I want everybody to see me. I want motherfuckers to think that, got, that this is Foot Locker. You want right. a mom and pop shoe store, you want motherfuckers to compete with Foot Locker. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what the fuck I want to be. So you hire a strategic marketing team, you hire digital marketing, you hire people that can make sure your shit is seen everywhere you go. And... um. That's what we did. Yeah, That's what I did move. with this project. Like, not with everybody the, would make that move. It was a different mm -hmm. type yeah. of move, a smart move. No, hell no. I'm like, so independently, I'm like, shit, we doing this all on our own. We have the we we have the budget to be able to afford the best of the best people would experience because of the money that we made off the last project. Mm -hmm. yeah. Based on research, my experience, and my own thoughts on this matter, people are skeptical of an artist that seemed to blow up out of nowhere, like I Spice, who is the biggest artist to get this title of industry plan placed on her in recent times. I Spice blew up relatively fast, seeing she started rapping in 2021 while she was attending college. Her viral breakthrough occurred after her song Munch blew up on TikTok the following year, setting the tone for her career, working with Nicki Minaj, Pink Pantheras, and Taylor Swift. Extending her reach beyond the borders of TikTok, she's been invited to industry events like the Met Gala. Last year, Billboard dubbed her Rap's New Princess, and the rapper won a Moon Man at the MTV's VMAs for Best New Artist. Oh my god, this is so cool. Now I understand why people consider her a plant, but Ice is not a plant. In the sense of, oh, she's a tool planted to mislead and destroy the youth. Contrary to what, you know, a lot of people like to think, the music industry only gives us what we want. And for the most part, we want Ice Spice. And I know some of you are probably saying, well, wasn't it you who made a video saying her career is melting? Yeah. That was me, all facts. But that doesn't mean that I hate her or I don't want to see her shine. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing and that career be melting. And she can definitely turn it around, but it's melting right now. We've seen many facets of a female rapper. So what's next? Ice is next. We've seen the creative likes of Missy Elliott, the sexified gangster Lil' Kim, the cool chick Eve, and the animated theatrics of Nicki Minaj that came through with a curvaceous back. Backside, the social media carefreeness of Cardi B, to now the smooth, not so seriousness of I Spice. All these rappers have a different story on how they blew up. Some people get fame a lot faster than others, and that shouldn't omit the work they put in. Talent is now overrated, and rightfully so. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again everyone is talented, and talent is kind of boring right now. Am I saying there is just no trace of talent anymore? No. But what else do you have to offer? Are you a people person or are you good at forming relationships in the industry? You need to know how to network. It's the genuine relationships you cultivate that will get you ahead in the game. And I Spice understand this very well. And she sees the moment of a lifetime. And I don't blame her. The tip of the iceberg effect is definitely at play when it comes to ice and other artists like Tyla. And I get it, you think they aren't authentic. Something that does doesn't really exist, which I will get into in a bit. Do I think Ice is overhyped? Absolutely. But these people have put in a lot of work that you do not get to see. You now see the fame and the product of their efforts. All you are seeing is the tip of the iceberg, which isn't a proper representation of the work they've put in. We are seeing where non-musicians are being called industry plants as well now. Comedians, interviewers, even viral memes, like the recent Hak Tu girl, who recently became a meme for her way of giving. Now, if you don't know who the Hak 
Two Girl is, she was featured on one of those street interview videos. You know, those interviews where they ask random people all types of crazy questions in, in order to get a crazy reaction to go viral. That hawk too and spit all that thing, you get me? <laughs> and it's the underlining conspiracy that fueled these conversations because everyone loves a good conspiracy. Apparently, the hawk Two Girl, whose real name is Haley Welch, is now going around meeting celebrities like Shaq, doing interviews, appearing like a celebrity herself, having people following her around with cameras after becoming a worldwide meme, sparking industry plant rumors. I don't think you understand how crazy this is. Yes, we're going to talk about it. Sure, it was funny for a second. This is just getting weird now. She's one of the most popular people in the world right now for saying two words, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, just ask in the comments. But before she made social media and before she made all of her merch and everything, she laid low for a little bit, and then she came out with a team of lawyers and managers. And just a few days ago, she released her Instagram, which has over a million followers and over a hundred million views. And all of her posts are of someone recording her, of her going to concerts, selling merch, being interviewed, and one of the only questions she answered was if she was an industry plant. I'm not an industry plant. It was not planned. Every bit of it was just there, right in the moment, because I had to ask what that meant. So. <laughs> That's false. I mean, no one was thinking that at first, but now you have never seen a video be pushed out like that in your whole entire life. This is probably one of the quickest rises to fame that we have ever seen. Now she is reportedly going to LA slash New York to take on her influencer lifestyle and make reality TV shows and join podcasts and the whole nine yards. Keep in mind, this is all over two words. Now, to me, I think it's obvious that she's trying to pull a Kardashian thing. She's obviously paying people to boost her, to appear famous, to buying followers, etc. I'm sure she has a manager now, but this is not a plant. She's just a wannabe in my opinion. And I don't blame this lady because how many times we see people go viral, you know, get like crazy views, but then these people end up, you know, not getting any, any monetary um compensation from these memes. So I don't blame her, but I will say it would be more fitting to start an OnlyFans as that would be more on brand for her as she is the hawk tool girl and she doesn't even have to bust it open on there look at cardi b she's not showing her coochie on there or what's that little white girl that thinks she's black um uh bad baby but whatever the fuck her name is she made like 50 million dollars showing well i don't know what she was showing on there but based on what i've heard she apparently wasn't showing anything also who the fuck is subscribing to these people sending them money making these people richer meanwhile porn hub is free Bobby Althoff, the boring podcaster, is also being called an industry plant after interviewing Drake, who seems to be the industry plant's guide slash handler. Since that interview with Drake, she's gone on to interview Shaquille O'Neal and Sukiyana, just to name a few. People are puzzled why she goes viral all the time, seeing how lifeless she is, but I think the appeal is, is that she's just so jarringly boring where people watch her and they're trying to figure out if she's really like that. Drewski, the comedian, is also being called a plant. Even Gypsy Rose, since she was let out of prison for basically being an accomplice to a crime. She was convicted of secondary murder for the death of her own mother. Ever since she came out of prison, she's been like prompt up as like a pop culture deity and an influencer, gaining millions of followers on TikTok and Instagram. She's also also set to appear on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Kim Kardashian and Gypsy Rose Blanchard joined forces on the latest episode of the Kardashians. Kim, who is studying to become a lawyer, said on episode eight of the fifth season that she wanted to see what Gypsy Rose wants to do with prison reform. I've been following your case for a really long time. Really? So like. <laughs> Let's not forget that the comedian and actor Cat Williams labeled Kevin Hart an industry plant on the insanely viral interview on Club Shay Shay. 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. 
Now I do see where Cat is coming from, but this is what we're doing now. Even actors are industry plants. Like this makes no sense. As for actors, you know, mainstream actors, you need a gatekeeper. You need the industry. And Kevin Hart is not a comedian to me. He's an actor who was somewhat funny, who is now only funny to little kids. And this is the thing with industry plants. Everyone's a plant now. It's just a way to discredit anyone nowadays. Why not just call him a fraud and leave it at that? From my understanding, authenticity is the number one factor used in the industry plant arguments. And I get that some people don't believe that they are being authentic. I do it as well. But in terms of industry plant, where it's used to say these artists need to be cast aside or their careers need to be over, is kind of silly. Social media has created this sense of who's real and who's fake in the music industry. Remember back in the day, you needed the industry to get seen. And now with the internet inserted in the chat, you don't. But even indie artists without major label backing is still a manufactured product. Some of these indie and even major artists. But let's focus on indie acts. They only show you what works for their image. A lot of thought and intent is put into whatever project they release. Just like major artists, indie acts, they too want to be perceived a certain way, not a way that wouldn't work with their image, the image they made for your consumption. If you have to think about being authentic, then you aren't being authentic at all. Authentic, all it means in this context is that you like this or that artist because they suit whatever need you have at the moment. Authenticity is extremely subjective. Authenticity is a marketing ploy in business. Every artist, whether indie or major, all these artists prepare, plan, engage in trial and error when they start out. And some actually will appear authentic, but most, most will not appear authentic to an audience. Lana Del Rey had industry plants allegations attached to her name when she first emerged in the early 2010s. Some of you might not know, but Lana used to be Lizzie Grant in the 2000s. But Lizzie Grant didn't connect, so they scrubbed all traces of Lizzie Grant off the internet, and the artist rebranded branded as Lana Del Rey who we know today as Lana Del Rey, wanted to be someone. And Lizzie Grant was a nobody. Now for those that like to call artists you don't like industry plants, if it was you, would you have stayed the same and go unnoticed forever in the name of authenticity? No, you'd change it up. If something is not working for you, as that's what life's about. Evolution. The idea of authenticity is elusive. It is, in many ways, a complete illusion, said Professor Robert Thompson, a pop culture expert at Syracuse University. Maybe you're just jealous. If industry plans in terms of an artist that is just present for the label's benefit, then we are all industry plants. How many of us wake up in the mornings, brush your teeth, shower maybe, as you know, some people don't shower in the mornings. Anyway, how many of us commute to a job where you do what you are told and fulfill the duties of your employer slash a multi-billion dollar corporation? And while you're at your job, are you being authentic? No, you're probably being a fake ass bitch, no offense, but if you were indeed authentic, you probably wouldn't show up for work. The problem is you. A lot of us are just jaded and jealous of industry plants and a lot of us don't realize that you too can do what the industry plant is doing. You too can be an industry plant. I was thinking that we should create a new term like industry puppet, but in all honesty, we need to just focus on the artists we like. Yes, we can call out artists for certain traits that we don't like, fine, but to call upcoming artists industry plant because something seems off to you is childish. Because the music industry was created to do one thing, to make money, that's it. To be an artist in this day and age is a lot easier, but also a lot more difficult because of the internet people's come-ups, rises, and claims to fame will happen a lot faster as technology improves. And even if the term industry plant cease to exist, other terms to disparage upcoming artists will be created to take its place. If not, then we will continue to have other iterations of what an actual industry plant is. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And what are your thoughts on industry plants? To me, it's just so baseless and we should just leave it alone. Let's stop using it. I want to hear from you. Don't be shy. I am Don, your pop culture boy. And I will see you in the next one.